Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today we are here at the Dayton outcropping where there is some gold and copper and I'm here with Michael and Teresa from MT Treasures and we're going to look around and see what type of precious metals we can find and let's get going. Here on Copper Hill, you can see the mineralization that's in this hill. The majority of the mineralization is on the lower section of this hill. The predominant mineral in this area is copper. We are going to take some samples of this copper chrysocolla and we're going to bring them back to the stagecoach mill and process the material there with some hydrochloric acid and see if we can get copper out of this copper chrysocolla. We are also going to take some samples off this wall and see if there is any gold in this material. An unofficial assay report showed that this area had 5 grams of gold per ton. This wall here is very brittle. One of the aspects I like about my masonry bit is that I can drill into the material and find out what is inside the deeper part of the material. Another aspect what I like about my masonry bit is I can move it left to right and I can grind up the material with my masonry bit and I can classify out the larger material and pan out the material that is ground up with my masonry bit. I would like to encourage each of you when you go out to prospect is for you to pick up a hammer drill. It'll make your prospecting adventure much easier. Let's check on Michael and Teresa and see how they did. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was sitting in my rock pile going through the rocks. 
Um, I'm either gonna tumble it or crush it. One of those two things is happening. Yeah, and we got ore vein samples. You can see the ore, you can see the vein. Yeah, we're gonna take this back, pan it out, and see if it has any values. Oh, look how rich it is. I encourage you to check out Michael and Teresa's channel at MT Treasure SOS. We've completed our time prospecting. We're going to head back and I am going to go back to the stagecoach mill and process the material that I picked up here on Copper Hill. And you can watch Michael and Teresa process their ore and I'm going to leave a link to their channel in my description box. Okay, we are back at the stagecoach mill, and actually it's four days later. We've had a lot of wind, we had a lot of rain, we had thunder and lightning, and let's take a look at it really quick. Today is a great day. It is sunny outside. It's warm. We have a slight breeze blowing, but we're going to take our material that we picked up and we are going to classify it down. We're going to pan it out and see if we get any type of precious metals inside of this material. And then I'll decide whether we'll smelt it up or not. And let's get on with this project. And here is the material that we had brought back to the Sagecoach Mill. Uh, it, it got pretty wet sitting in the back of the Coyote during the thunderstorms that I let it sit out all day today and it's drying out. And let's get this material classified. Today I am going to use my half inch classifier, my quarter inch classifier, my eighth of an inch classifier and my sixteenth of an inch classifier to classify our material down and that way I can inspect all the material in the different sizes and let's get to it. And here is our classified material.
Unfortunately, there is no gold in our pan today. But what we did get is some copper crystal cola. And what we're going to do with this material on our next project, we are going to hand crush this. We are going to give it a hydrochloric acid wash and turn this material or this copper crystal cola into solution. And then we will pull it out of solution and make regular copper as you and I know it with this copper crystal cola. Well, this wraps up this episode of us taking our trip out to the Dayton outcropping, otherwise known as Copper Hill. And we didn't get any precious metals such as silver or gold, but we did get a bunch of copper crystal cola that I'm going to process later in another episode. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, I would like to encourage you to spank that like button and to share this on your channel so others can enjoy the experience of what we did in this project and if you haven't subscribed to our channel I would love to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our AU family we would love to have you in the family we are so thankful that you're here we deeply appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one